In dental photography, we should use macro flash systems. Macro flashes come either in a form of a ring flash or a twin flash, and they are mounted somehow directly on the cameras in a way that facilitate even lightning. The mounting of the flashes is typically on the lens itself using some adapters that come in different sizes to fit the diameter of your lens in particular. Unlike the normal flashes that usually are mounted here or the built-in flash, the macro flashes are constructed in a way to reduce hard shadows to some extent that's why they are more suitable for macro photography, focusing on the subject which is close to the lens. So in these videos, the focus is on how to set the flashes for dental photography in particular and skip the unuseful features that are just complicating your life. I'm a dentist like you, not a photographer. However, I want to be able to grab the camera and shoot perfect photos in daily work scenarios. And this is not a complicated philosophy. You just have to do some settings that normally can steal five minutes of your time to have everything set up. These flashes are not normally made only for dentists. They are made for professional photographers, especially the ones shooting macro photography like flowers, insects and so on. These guys are using different settings and multiple channels because they want to play with the light to create specific effects. In dental photography, we want our twin flashes positioned at the same distance and angle to the subject. And also the power should be identical from both sides. So the flashes should be set on the same channel and also they should respect the same settings. All of these systems should be used in manual mode, not TTL. Let me explain what TTL is. TTL is short for through the lens flash mattering. And it's something that is supposed to help us to obtain the proper exposure. The flash is basically calculating how much power should use to properly expose the scene that you pointed out. So this is pretty much as an auto function. It might sound helpful, but in our case, that's not really true because with a TTL function, we can't have consistency. For example, you set the aperture on a specific value and the TTL function will try to compensate the changes that you did. So in order to have full control on the settings and to have consistency in each of the systems, we should switch to the manual mode, not TTL. I will try to explain in the smallest detail the most used systems in separate chapters and eventually if any new system comes on the market, I will add a new chapter later on. Another amazing macro flash option is Godos MF12. Now the concept is a bit different because you are buying the twin flashes separately and what makes them compatible with Nikon, Canon, Sony or even Fuji is the trigger, which in this case you have to buy it separately. You can find two types of trigger, for example Godos X Pro, and when you purchase it, you should choose this trigger for the system that you have. For example, if I have a Canon camera, I will buy Godox X Pro C. If I have a Nikon camera, I will buy Godox X Pro N. So the difference is actually in this letter here. You can also find Godox X Pro S for Sony, Godox X Pro F for Fuji and so on. And this is important because the structure of the pins here is different and you can damage your hot shoe if you use Nikon trigger for a Canon camera and the other way around. Another option is to use Godos X2T Commander or Trigger. And again, this is coming in different versions. For example, this is Godos X2T N for Nikon. So basically the letter is telling you the compatibility with your machine. Going back to the flashes, they are all identical. It doesn't matter if it's Nikon, Canon or Sony. As I told you, what makes them compatible with your camera is actually the Commander, the Trigger. So of course you have to buy two of these and one Trigger as per your preference. But of course it should match your camera. So it should be Godox X Pro N or X Pro C or it should be Godox X2T N or X2T C, or if you have Sony X2T S and so on. We will elaborate and we will see the difference between these two commanders, these two triggers, but basically they are doing the same thing. It's just a matter of your preference. So let me just remove the box and the ring and everything here so we can continue explaining the setup. 